Hi, this is Sarah White coming to you live from Talonet Live in Austin, Texas, right before we kick off South by Southwest weekend. And I am here today with Lars Schmidt. Lars is the director of talent acquisition at NPR. Something that most people don't think about when they think of NPR is actually all the technical hiring they do. What type of people do you hire technically? So what would bring you to South by Southwest? So I think our hiring is really a mix across both technology, web, digital. Um, if you look at our organization, you know, we're a 40-year-old institution that was really primarily built around radio uh, up until the last, you know, five or so years when our business has really evolved uh, with the emergence of digital. So, you know, traditionally, uh, we had IT operations primarily in support of our radio um, right. broadcast. And I think if you look at where we are today, um, we're heavily focused in digital. You know, our focus as a media organization is to be where our fans are and where our consumers are and, and provide to them content where they are. So for some of them, that remains radio. For many of them, that remains radio. But for some of them, it's digital, it's mobile, it's social media. Um, and so the, the, our workforce has really evolved to expand quite a bit on the digital side, and that's you know primarily where our technical hiring comes from. One of the things that I found so interesting is when I first landed at the airport, I mm -hmm. checked in on Foursquare, uh, of course. Yeah. Um, and when you check in on Foursquare at the airport, up pops some notifications from NPR. Yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about that strategy and that plan for what you're doing? Is that just in Austin, or are you doing no, that worldwide? So actually, this is a, we started a new pilot about a week ago. Okay. Um, so a few weeks ago, I was in uh, the Columbia Journalism Career Conference, and we had a mixer at Foursquare's headquarters. And I was talking to their head of PR, uh, and as well as internally, we've been talking about how we can leverage Foursquare. And I think for us, we saw that potential for it to be a great discovery tool mm -hmm. for NPR fans who might be traveling, they're away from their home city, they want to listen to NPR, they don't know where to find it. So we're, we just started piloting a new program where we're leaving tips at all the major airports with the local member station um, call signs. So we can say, welcome to Austin, yeah. your local member station is KUT, and enjoy your trip. Right. So it's a great way for us to help fans um, connect with their local member stations when they're on the road. And one of the other big pieces of that that really ties in back to what you're doing is less about them connecting with that local station, but it's more about continuing that employment brand. Yeah. So talk a little bit about the changes in employment branding you guys have done over the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, I think in particular in the last year, we've really, um, we've really looked to see how, how we can connect with fans and how we can help them see inside the organization. I think you know, over 40 years we've built a strong consumer brand and people really understand mm -hmm. NPR and our programming and our journalism. Um, what they don't always know is what's it like to work there? Right. Well, how do these stories come together? And so you know, my main focus in addition to recruiting is, is helping develop the employment brand and you know, we've been doing that with initiatives. Um, social media plays a big role in that. So the NPR jobs account on Twitter, um, the new NPR Life campaign that we created, which was really a tool to empower our employees to share their stories. Yeah. Um, and so people have really responded to that. And you know, we have a Facebook page now that this is NPR. We're doing more things on YouTube. So I think there's a lot of opportunity for us to really help people that are fans of NPR connect with us on a deeper level, level beyond the, just the programming. And one of the interesting things you just talked about is the mm -hmm. fact that you don't just put it all on your recruiting team. So yeah. one of the things they're doing is really pushing it back to their actual employees and putting some of the employment branding and what traditionally was looked at as recruiting back on them to help bring in, attract more talent mm -hmm. that they might have in their networks. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think um, you know the idea is you know we are we are a nonprofit. Right. Um, we will always have a lean uh, recruiting engine, and so you know one of the first things you know I've been there for a little over a year now that I realized is we've got to find new ways to engage our employees right. and and activate them and energize them to participate. And so the NPR Life campaign is a great example. That started as you know me using that hashtag at different events, and then I realized, hey, I'm an HR guy, and I can't right. be everywhere at once. And really, people want to hear from. Ari Shapiro about how a story came together. They want to hear from Audie Cornish about when she, you know, is covering a piece, kind of what went into that. And so, really, we expanded NPR Life to be a cross-platform initiative now, where it's, you'll find it on Instagram, you'll find it on Twitter, right. and it's a way for us to really showcase our employees and the great stuff they're right. doing. So, on a very personal level, so it's exactly. not all. Uh, corporate. It really is about who they are. So thank you so much. It was such a pleasure okay. talking to you and it's always wonderful to see you. Yes, thank you.